What's up, you sexy motherfuckers? Welcome. Collective, we are doing your love reading for the week. I hope I'm finding you all well. Remember, if this reading resonates, so please hit like and subscribe. And if not, you can book a reading with me at the Gypsies Tower links below in the description. All right, guys, let's get into this. What do you need to know? Make sure you stay till the end where we do all signs and get your own message. What is coming towards the collective in love this week, Spirit? What do they need to know? Oh, caught feelings, unexpected visitor, finances. Oh, shit. Mm, okay. What do they need to know about the person coming towards them? Okay. <laughs> and, what, and what do they need to know for themselves? Single. Okay, Spirit said it's time to be single. At the bottom, we got social media. All right, guys, let me get my other deck so it's ready and check this out. So some of you could be single. You could be finding out someone single, okay? But the person coming towards you is definitely watching you. They could also be watching your finances, all right? They could be stalking your social media. Um, this person caught feelings for you, and they did not expect it at all. Mm-mm. What is caught feelings for what's coming towards the collective in love this week? Complicated confusion, not seeing clearly. Why not? Missing you, regret, self-sabotage. So this person sabotaged the connection because they were confused about their feelings for you or they didn't want to acknowledge them. Mm -hmm. What's unexpected visitor? So they might've chose someone over you. That could have been it too for financial reasons. What's unexpected visitor? Coming forward, playing out, communicating, heart-to-heart -heart conversation, temptation, physical love, forbidden. So this unexpected visitor could be someone's ex coming towards you because they don't want you going towards their person or their person coming towards you. But if it's not that, this person just has this physical yearning towards you and just wants to talk and wants to like, I'm getting this like, I just want to hold you type shit. But it's more than that, right? Because we got physical love there. So this person wants to talk to you. Them or their karmic. What's finances? Missing you. What? Friendship. Raised, raised vibration, closeness. And then we got competition. Eyes on another multiple options. Family, children, building a home. Conflict, confused on how to move forward. Div divine masculine. So this was a masculine or feminine because I'm not biased on this. Okay. And, and they, they just wanted to stay for the family, even though it was confusing or it was stressful or a marriage or a commitment or someone was trying to take care of their baby mama or baby daddy. And it was just too much. Like one person, it's just like this person wasn't supposed to show up. This unexpected visitor just wasn't supposed to show up. So it's almost like someone was acting single when they weren't. What is single doing here for my collectives? What is single doing here? Change. Big changes are coming, trust the process and communication and forgiveness. So this person's going to tell you, you know, it just wasn't the right time. You know, please forgive me, things like that. And, you know, changes are coming and, and they want to talk to you about it. They're going to confess it. Mm -hmm. So why are they stalking my viewers? Who and what is stalking my viewers? Fast movement and more than one option in love decision to be made. At the bottom, we got longing, desiring, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Wait, is there something behind that? So this person's missing the shit out of you. It could have been an air sign got in the way. It could have been, um, they're saying, no, it's not necessarily that. It could just be thoughts too. So a lot of you, this person's missing the shit out of you, especially if you are an air sign. And they're making fast movement towards you because they know you got more than one option in love, or they did, but someone's getting the hell out of there. I'm also seeing when, someone driving around your house at night. Okay, really fast. What is social media, <laughs> This is also tracking, too. Someone could be tracking you with the fast movement stalking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Clean you holding on, won't let go, just came out, so that's very well a possibility. What's social media? Conflict, confused on how to move forward, arguments and disagreements, boundaries, stop, speak up, 
And at the bottom, we got family, children, marriage in the reverse. What is this? See, I'm telling you, someone's ex. They could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. They're manifesting like either your shit falling apart or um, like if you're in a relationship with someone else or they're not wanting you to take their person. You see what I'm saying? Like they're ready to fight for this or try to stop something from happening here, like trying to stop someone through social media where this message comes in. So this, like I said, could be someone's karmic or um, just them in general. Look, they said, pay attention to your dreams. Your wishes are about to come true. All this energy is about to be out your life. Who cares who's jealous? Look, new love, excitement. Someone new is coming in. Jealousy watching green eyed monster. Twin flame, divine connection. So this person might feel like your twin flame and then wish fulfillment in dreams. So your dreams are coming true, especially if you're looking for a new connection at this time and you got karmics on your back and their energy and shit like that. Spirit's dealing with that, okay? Because you're getting your wish fulfillment now. Pay attention to your dreams because they're probably sending you signs right now. I know my dreams have been off the damn chain <laughs> with this moon. So let's get into the tarot. You know what else it could be, though, too, with finances? It could be this person or you just focusing on your finances at this time. I feel that, too. So, All right. Let me fix my damn bracelet. Y'all know how I get. Look, soulmate card. What's the other side? Six of sword. Oh, double sixes. Things are balancing out for you guys. Moving to calmer waters, running into your soulmate, nostalgia, the past, kids, taking kids back to school, shit. Get in the car. Let's go. All that shit. But before we get into that, you got the star and the chariot, Aquarius and Cancer energy, your healing, okay, there is some fast movement, maybe you're healing very quickly here, some of you, especially if you just had some kind of um, surgery or work done, you're going to heal quickly. We have success, wealth, fertility, and future. So for some of you, you could be having a baby in the future, if that's what you're looking to do, but you're going to be very successful and wealthy. In the future and it's going to heal you something's healing you right now and it could be moving even for some of you with the chariot you could be going to calmer waters maybe moving towards the water mm -hmm. so aquarius like i said cancer energy fast movement but it's healing with success wealth fertility in your future now let's look at you who is coming towards you in love collective what do they need to know and love at this time? You guys, I was thinking about doing all sign videos again, like individually, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. All right, what's coming towards the collective then? Let's see. What are you guys doing right now? The three of cups, pouring up, having a good time, celebrating reunions and the queen of pentacles. I like that. It's like, I'm stable, I'm grounded, I got my money, you're nurturing yourself, you're surrounding yourself with family and friends, maybe letting go of an old third party. Who's coming towards the collective? Judgment. They're also saying you're ready for fall because I see the pumpkins here and how she's kind of like uh, just daydreaming about it, <laughs> like harvest season. Judgment, Scorpio. Who's coming towards the collective? The Eight of Cups, wow. That's strong. It's like, I can't walk away. I'm back. I can't walk away. I'm back. <sighs> Ooh. 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 They're like, you better take them. Where do you want me to put them? Okay. I don't like this. They're like, clarify it. Just clarify it. Okay. Why is the emperor looking over at the six of cups like that? Why does he look so mad? It could be there's a, like your father or an older male does not like, like, um, maybe the way you're raising your kids. Um, maybe they weren't good to you. Maybe you had a shitty father growing up. Like that's, I'm getting that. I'm getting that. I'm getting someone for some of you, you had an abusive father. And by that, I mean, in a lot of different ways, there could have been neglect. It could have been um, emotional neglect. Yeah. And you could have been dealing with someone here who had these childhood issues if you're not dealing with the emperor in general, okay? But there's something about you that gives off this like mothering or father energy. And this person's attracted to that. Okay, but let's see. Let's see what this is actually. And then the first thing I got was like 
someone's jealous of your soulmate connection. What is this? The King of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Wheel. Yeah, this is someone that's jealous. Jelly, strong fire sign, Aries, Scorpio. You could be an Aries or a Scorpio, and there's this like fire sign that is not happy about some kind of ending. They're like ignoring it, but they can't for much longer. It's something like that. Damn. Especially if this is like your parent or an ex-husband or wife, like they don't even know they got karma coming in some way. They chose to ignore the situation. That's never good. All right, so sorry about that, but someone must have needed to hear that today. Um, crowning this connection. <laughs> okay, the star, which I'm going to have to cover because YouTube has been on my butt lately. You know what? I'll just use the moon. I'll use the moon. Watch them still flag me for this. Like, don't look. Okay. But yeah, there's definitely a healing, um, an emphasis on healing in this reading. What else, spirit? What's in the central? The king of wands looking at you. Look at that. All that sexual energy. Mm. And if you're the masculine, duh, 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 you are looking sexy right now with the star and the king of wands within the foundation, the moon. Woo. 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 Wee. Look at the bottom, y'all. They're like, what did you fucking do to me? Uh, I'm addicted. I'm addicted even though it's over. Look at that. Oof. What a horrible ending, right? This is a horrible ending. To something that could have probably went well if someone would have been on the same page, but this is not being on the same page at all. This is like an addiction. Needing to really look at that. This is also like, okay. They're like, slow the fuck down. This is emotional neediness, okay? Someone has been hurt a lot in the past, and yes, it's made them strong, but one person grew from it, the other person just plays the victim. That's what I'm getting here. So it's like, well, are you gonna choose to heal yourself, love yourself, or keep throwing yourself into these whole life situations, right? Because if someone's not offering you anything, what do they really have to offer except for another lesson? right so spirits coming in and giving you new beginnings and people are like how the hell did that happen like they're kind of stuck on this idea of bringing you down with the three of swords and having you feel some type of pain like them because of these two new beginnings you got coming mm -hmm. the star and the moon mm. this is hidden this is like this super moon is bringing a very healing, passionate, grounded energy to you guys. It's helping you walk away from things you don't want, other people, and it's waking other people up about you with judgment, especially once they've seen you walk away in some way, emotionally. You could still be with this person, but emotionally, you're focused on your money right now. You're waiting for some kind of... I'm, I'll see what it is later, but it feels like you're waiting for something here, you guys. Not a person, but like an energy to move a, a, like around you, away from you. Let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's the outcome for the collective this week? Oh, wow, you guys, look, the wheel. What's the outcome for the collective in love this week? I'm loving my lighting today. The King of Swords and the Five of Cups. Yeah, this is someone here, Libra, Virgo, uh, Scorpio, and Taurus, Leo. It was time is what I'm getting here. The hell was that? Did you guys hear that slam? Hmm. Ghost. I got a damn ghost in here, y'all. I swear to God, I do. Um, hmm. So for me, this is like, yeah, that shit hurt. Destiny came in. Yeah, that shit hurt. Five of Cups. And now you're this King of Swords. No matter who you are. 
now you're this king of sword you have no choice but to just see it for what it is and now things are moving in your favor could you have been dealing with the king of swords sure yeah you could have been dealing with all these people but i don't want to pay too much attention to that because then we lose the reading you know you'll know how it applies to you mm -hmm. what is this three of cups with the queen of Pentacles? Why am I getting a, a feminine energy here? Capricorn Taurus Virgo that just wants to be single. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. Some of you are like, I just want to be single. Mm -hmm. What else? The King of Pentacles? Well, if not, you want to be married. It's one of the two because we got the Three of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles here. And the Hero Fine is at the bottom with the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. If you're in a commitment, this person is not letting you go. Horus, Capricorn, Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yes, I'm doing the sign thing again. I know I got to grow out of it, but damn, you guys, this person is not letting you go. They're like, and if, they, if you're not with this person, you're going to be. They're coming towards you. This person isn't going to juggle you either. Wow, okay. We like that shit. So this is someone that's going to put a ring on it or wants to marry you, wants to be your wife or your husband, have your babies, all that great, beautiful stuff. Tell me about judgment with the Eight of Cups. I feel like this is what you want too. This is what you're hanging on to. And you're about to get it. You're manifesting it. There are some whole activities happening around you, though. I'm not going to lie. With the King of Wands and the Three of Cups. So... What's judgment with the Eight of Cups? What's going on with this person? The Knight of Wands. The Five of Pentacles. They're like, why did you leave me out in the cold like this? Like, I can't take it. What happened? Look at this. Yes, they're not happy, you guys. They wanted to have the, um, let me show you. They wanted to have marriage and commitment with you, but they were on some whole shit. King of Wands in the reverse with the Four of Wands. Yes, this could be a feminine as well. It's like just using sexuality to create your stability. You can't do that. You can't turn a hoe into a housewife. Hoes don't act right. Hoes tell everybody, even the Maya. Okay? So here we are. Now this person wants to talk to you about why they were juggling. Mm. Like, are you serious? I don't need an explanation for that, right? With the Eight of Cups, I feel like this person's watching you walk away. Mm -hmm. They're also juggling what to say. It's like they don't want to be left out in the cold. But they're taking action here with these knights. They're just like, as I'm organizing this, I feel like that's this person. They're trying to get organized. They're trying to get their money together. They could have hooked up with the wrong person here. <laughs> Put the Three of Swords and the Knight of Wands and the, and the King of Wands in the reverse and the Sun in the reverse, okay? And the Eight of Wands, you know, this person's just like having a boring sex life. I kind of get that. And focusing on their stability because they don't have you. But they're going to talk to you about this with judgment. They're being called by your spirit guides to make something right. That's what I see here. Like, you better not let them walk away. You better apologize. Mm -hmm. So what's the star? What is the star? What's this healing energy between um, my collective and this person? And if you notice, the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords back is to you guys. So it's like they are trying to figure out how to say something. I also see them grieving to another person, you know, with the Five of Pentacles. Like, did they juggle that person? And that person, I don't know. Six of Pentacles, they don't care either way. They, they still feel like, well... <laughs> I got you. Okay. That's strange, you guys. I don't know. That's unhealthy. Thank God you got this coming. What's the star? The Eight of Swords. Ooh. The Moon. Mm-hmm. This is... Ooh! Damn! Damn. Someone's like, this shit is not over. Two of Cups. Chariot. Two of Wands. Two of Cups. This is like, I'm coming. I'm coming to see you right now. This person's taking action. They want to see you face to face. You could be traveling or this person could be traveling to come see you here. Mm -hmm. They were shady in the past. Look at that hiding behind there. Yeah, they were. They were out there. They were for the streets. Seven of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, but they're like, I can, I can make a change. There's a fast movement, you guys. I think this is just fast movement to make a decision to to come toward you because this person is mentally tortured. The moon and all the energy around this person is forcing them into this healing 
energy, the nine, the eight and the nine of swords. They're like, we ain't getting to ten. I need to reveal my emotions. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Emphasis on Aquarian energy. I see someone doing moon magic at night by the water as well. But it's also about how the moon conflicts us, right? How it gets us in all in our heads and like Mercury retrograde, all of that, right? Something is coming to a head here. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. It's like, no, this is it. We got to clear this up. So whatever it is, it's being cleared right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, let's see. What's the king of wands? This looks like someone who's trying to interrupt something. Whoa. Holy crap. Oh, that's like half the deck. Otherwise, I would have done it. What's the King of Wands doing here for the collective? The High Priestess. Wow, this is some crazy um, energy today. The Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups. <laughs> Holy shit. This is a Pisces. Or a Cancer, or an Aries Leo Sag. I'm doing it again. Damn it. So there's a Pisces or a Cancer stalking the shit out of you because of some kind of passion, or because of your looks. They're jealous of your looks, or they're attracted to you. It's one of those. Mm -hmm. Wow, your intuition tells you this too. Mm -hmm. Y'all are very intuitive. You feel these people around you and you feel this person's passion with the king of wands. What is this? I ain't going to talk that. What's the moon? What's being revealed? What is being revealed with the moon? For the collective, what's being healed with the moon, please? The two of wands, the six of pentacles. And the Six of Cups, your soulmate. Some of you are going to be um, single soon. I'm just telling you, it's like a shift. So I'm getting like you're either going to be single after being with someone for a very long time. Or you're going to be into a very serious commitment after being single for a long time. That is what I'm finding here. Yeah, with judgment. Mm -hmm. So you're being called. Yep. This is a new love connection for a lot of you guys. Or this new part of yourself that you're opening up to. And it's beautiful. It's balanced. You're taking more action. You're really evaluating your emotions. You're thinking about, you know, what did I do wrong before that I can do better this time? And this is all being evaluated so that you can grow here with the Nine of Pentacles. This is about your actual, I feel like spiritual, mental, all of it, emotional growth. And you saying, I don't need anyone. I can be independent on my own. Right. So what's the Wheel of Fortune? With the King of Swords and this Five of Cups, this person's sad as hell. Temperance, sign of Sagittarius, the Hanged Man, Pisces. Look at all these majors. And the Seven of Swords and then the Six of Swords. So these people are mad that you're in your truth, okay? And that you're moving on in some way, okay? You saw it. You left. You're in clearer waters. You're out of here, okay? And, um... They are stuck on trying to come back and bring balance. This is also an energy for me of someone who's still stuck on an old third party situation and just won't let it go, but still sits in denial. Like, you, you didn't let it go, but you're still in denial about it. That's what I'm getting here. And because you're in your truth with balance, it pisses these people off, you know? That you're getting all of this. Well, that's what happens when you step into spirituality, <laughs> you know? You can't hate on other people because they're doing for themselves what you can't do for yourself. But it's saying this person met you for a reason. So that they would get their shit together. Period. All right. Let's see what this person doesn't want you to know. What does this person not want my viewers to know? What are they hiding from me? What is this person hiding from my viewers? 
What don't they want them to know? Mm -hmm. Time to get the tea. Quick replies. Eye candy. Controlling. Mm. So this person's in a relationship where they're controlled or they feel like they're controlled or they thought you were controlling, but they think you're very attractive. They look at you a lot. Notice the person on their phone. How's someone sleeping next to them? Look at this shit. DMs, whatever. So you, you get it. What's quick replies? Let's just keep going. Together again. So this person wants to be with you again. They're late night scrolling with someone sleeping next to them. And they really want to get laid. And you are special to them, but they really do want to get laid, for real. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at. Late night scrolling. They're in it to score. They're like, you're the one. You know, maybe you're back together with someone. But I feel like this could be them as well. But this person, they're like, how do I get back in? Mm -hmm. That's that page of swords. What's the eye candy? trickster player so this person may know they're still or they know they're still attractive that's funny this person probably knows they're attractive they got the ace of cups up their sleeves this is a love bomber okay um uh, both still in love this could be what they're telling themselves but they could be dealing with someone else like i said one more i'm both still in love and trickster evidence so this person might have got caught up, you know. Mm -hmm. There's evidence of maybe your pictures or something with the eye candy, both still in love, trickster, and evidence. So you might be finding out someone's still with someone and their person might find out by looking on their clothes or something like that. Like lipstick stains I'm kind of seeing here up someone's sleeve on someone's clothes. What the fuck is all of this today? Mm-mm. Either way, this person's finding evidence of you, I feel, on someone's phone. Or just, like, maybe going through their history or something like that. What's controlling? For what this person... Okay, the changing came out right away. So this person's trying to change their controlling ways or get away from someone who's controlling. Let me um, shuffle again. What else? Returning. Okay. So controlling, changing, returning, and then what? Addicted. They are addicted to your ass. Okay? They're like, you just need a break. I'll figure you out. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. But they could also deal with addiction, you know? What else? One more on that. Spirit babies. Yeah, they're addicted to the connections. It says, I want more moments with you. So this person is returning to you. Whether they have someone or not, you could be returning to someone, whether you have someone or not, but that's what's in this damn reading. It's for collective, so you know how many people watch this shit. But this is someone who won't run next time <laughs> for whoever needed to see that. Moving on. Um, Let me think about this. All right, y'all. So what is coming towards my collective and love this week in general? What do they need to know, spirit? Left out in the cold, scarcity mindset, ready to give up, emotional or material loss. Infinite abundance, prosperous life, unexpected windfalls, knowing your self-worth and value. And that's what's up. You got to leave people out in the cold who don't want to play the same, you know. You ain't, you ain't letting people in your life that are clingy and crazy. We ain't doing that. No. You want people that are committed, emotionally balanced, and want to enjoy their life. Not sit in drama and heartbreak and poverty. Right. You know your self-worth. And once you do, that's when you get your blessings. See? All right, what else? One more for the collective. Use your head. Give it some thought. Think logically and rationally. Don't let emotions control you, which we were talking about that with the moon. So this moon's going to bring healing energy. It's how you want to use it. You can either let it, you know, run your mind crazy or you can step into it. You can start clearing out negative energy. I recommend saging like a mother. I recommend doing some spell candles, you guys, to bring in abundance and clear out negative energy. I did mine last night. So let's see, what else? One more for the collectives. 
The Empress, fertility, nurture, reclaim your power, highly desirable. Oh, I feel that. I feel all of that for my emperors, my empresses. Um, it's time. Like I said, you guys are giving to yourself. And it's here too. Your fertility in the future, your wealth, your success because of your healing energy. And you're going quickly. Very quickly. All right. Let's see what you need to know between you and this person with your romance angels. And then... Look at your messages from spirit and go to all signs. So, angels, spirit guides, what messages do you have for the collective and love this week? What's coming towards me? You've got to keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from usual type or expectations. The person coming towards the collective, please. How are they feeling? New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Yeah, they might be trying to move on to you guys. And then between the two of you, what's happening? Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. And at the bottom, we got attract. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Wow, you guys, this is amazing. I can't wait to hear the comments. Now let's get your messages from spirit. This person's gonna come to, for some of you, they might even propose. And maybe this isn't someone that you were really into before, but you will be now because you are, what? Keeping an open mind, getting away from people that aren't good for you, and attracting what you want. Infinite abundance. All right. What messages do we have for the collective? What is the advice for this week? Three cards, please, for the advice for the collective this week. I think my camera's, a, like, slightly tilted. I'm not going to tilt it that. Advice. Ooh, sacred contract. You have a sacred contract with the universe. Trust that there's a divine order behind everything. Ooh, would you sign on your contract? Because spirit's holding you to it with the wheel of fortune. Mm-hmm. What else, angels? Divine assistance. That's funny because I just said angels. Your prayers have been heard. The divine is currently supporting and guiding you. Allow yourself to receive. I love it. Yes. Let your blessings pour into you. And one more. One more. In alignment. Everything is aligning perfectly in your life. What didn't make sense in the past will now start to fall into place. I love it. You guys, this is awesome. You are you are fulfilling. Give me these cards. Oh my god. You are fulfilling your soul contract. I feel like some of you guys just came out of something pretty rough because the divine assistance is here, but you are in alignment. Mm -hmm. Amen to that. God bless y'all. I'm so happy for you. All right, guys. Let's go to um all signs. All right, my loves, let's get it. Aquarius, I'm just gonna shuffle these real quick. Oh, and I would love if someone wanted to timestamp these. I would just love it, yeah. <laughs> All right, so starting with Aquarius. What do you need to know in love or the person on your mind? How are they feeling towards you? We've got marriage. They see you as marriage material. Someone that inspires them to create a strong foundation for marriage. Sit it out. Hold off. Lack of action delays. No progress. So this person might feel like you didn't want commitment. And so they're waiting. Mm -hmm. What else? Find you attractive, physical attraction, and beauty. Okay. So they find you attractive. They want to marry you, but they feel like you don't want commitment. Aquarius. Taurus, what do you need to know? I'm going to go a different way this time. Give it time. Take your time. Love grow slowly. Needing more time. Let things flow. Solitude. Time spent in solitude has given them a chance to get to know themselves better and set a more solid foundation. So they have been taking a break. And now they want to come forward. you. What else? Sexually in sync. Great sex, mutual sexual desire. Pisces. What do you need to know? Doggy bag. Plan B. Delayed gratification. Know you're waiting. Unfinished business. Ooh. 
Family tree. There's cultural differences, different values, beliefs, or traditions that pose a challenge to this connection. I'm getting someone's very controlling here. What else? Access baggage needs a lot of work. Living in the past. Damn, Pisces. Whoever this is is not aligning with you. Just say no. Aries. What's coming towards my Aries? Half and half, yin and yang, differences, opposites attract, contradiction. Mm -hmm. Music. Music brings them closer to you. Certain songs remind them of just how special your connection was to them. This person's thinking about you a lot, Aries. And they're thinking about how you balance each other out, even though you're opposites. What else? Work and finances. Focusing on work, financial decisions. So, could be an earth sign, but this person's very focused on money, Aries. They're trying to work to get their mind off of you. Capricorn. Knowledge, learning lessons, expanding awareness, insights on love, wanting to learn with uprooting. They're leaving all that's familiar to them or a long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you. What else does Capricorn need? So this is good, Capricorn. Trying to score, purely sexual, no serious intentions. Hmm. Well, maybe this person's learning their lessons. I don't know, but... It says they learn their lessons about it. So hopefully that's true when they come towards you, okay? <laughs> Cancers, do you need to know? Stormproof, feeling protective. You are safe, mean no harm. It is safe for you to trust. So there might be someone you're afraid to trust here, Cancer. With regret, they regret, or no, they're having a hard time forgiving themselves for treating you poorly, much less expecting you to forgive them. Okay. They meant no harm, whoever this is, what else? Silly games, playing hard to get, being a tease. Ooh, look out for that, Cancer. Virgos. What a prick, unkind behavior, bad intentions, be careful, emotionally unavailable, damn. With dealt a bad hand, they wish they had met you at a different time because they'll feel they'll never get to see what the connection could have been. Damn, Virgo, that was a rough one. What else? New love. Haven't met the one. Someone new. So someone feels like you are it for them. They want new love with you. Um, what is that? What a prick. Maybe you're getting rid of someone else and going towards someone new or this person is. I don't know, Virgo. Let me know in the comments. Sagittarius. Whoa. Children involved. Wasn't even ready yet. Dream catcher. Dream messages. Go after your dreams. Figure out your dream life. Something will be revealed. Ooh. The journey, this love journey may be long and challenging, but as long as you are with them, you'll never walk alone. Wow, this is beautiful. You're about to meet your person. I heard soulmate Sag. Children involved, wants or has children, immaturity. I feel like you and this person are going to have kids together. Or you could be finding out someone's pregnant with the fertility being here. What about Leo? What do they need to know? Commitments, taking it to the next level, getting engaged, planning for the future, ready for a life partner okay i like this one overflow their heart is overflowing with love so much it scares them because their love for you have no end leo they are ready damn what else happy times ahead successful outcome all is well that's like the best one here leo you got the best one this person's about to pour their heart out to you they love you scorpio i don't know imprint leaving a mark forever change can't move on ripple effect with mysterious one, the mystery of you intrigues them. You keep them guessing and very, wait, you keep them guessing and engaged. Very different from the rest. Well, we all know that's Scorpio, right? It couldn't be a better card to come out for you. What else? Tricky situation. Situationship complicated. So they find you very mysterious, but you left a mark and now they want to know what's going on, Scorpio. Gemini, what do you need to know in love? Surprise, unexpected event, shocking news, epiphany, sudden positive change. With grieving, they're stuck in grief, unable to see they still have the power to create a positive change. Okay, I'm hearing this is you, Gemini, and that you got to pull yourself up by your bootstraps, okay? No more grieving. Something good's going to come in and, and really help you um, lift your spirits. What else? New beginning, fresh start, doing things differently. I fucking told you. See? Mm-hmm. Libra. 
Single life, choosing to stay single, no attachments to an ex, trusting the plan, cool with whatever. So the person you were dealing with is like, I don't even want anyone right now, or this could be you. Yeah, broken. They feel broken inside and don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time. Be patient. So that could go either way with unhealthy connection, toxic connection, codependency. Yeah, you had to get rid of that person. They were too broken inside, Libra. Mm -hmm. Time for your new beginning too. So let's go to the bottom, see what everyone's getting here. For the week we have got, keep playing it. We're playing events, overthinking, stuck on the past, outdated thinking. In the cards, destined to happen, anything is possible. Fate will find a way. What you want, wants you. Ace of cook. And then we got cloudy time, confusion, things are not clear, worry and doubt, misunderstandings, which we saw, but that's getting cleared up, remember? And then crossroads is back. A choice has to be made, a crucial stage, entering the unknown, hard to make a decision. Sorry, that was in my other reading, not this one. <laughs> Probably like, where's crossroads at? What is she talking about? All right, we got unexpected. The answers you seek are coming, but when the answers arrive, it might be too late or you might have moved on. So someone's trying to, they're taking too long to figure out how to do something. Then we got beauty and grace. They find you extremely beautiful and your beauty intimidates them. They think someone else is more deserving. Oh, but what you want, wants you. So, hmm. and then with cloudy time, we have missing you. Their life feels empty without you. They miss you more than words can say, but think it's too late to fix things. Mm, a lot of feminine energy in these cards today. And there are masculines in these cards as well. And then here we've got potential. They're deep in their thoughts about you realizing their distractions prevented them from seeing the potential in you. So this person, I'm not even going to lie, they could have four choices. And I'm being called to see that because they're like, see how many marks there are here versus this? And I'm like, oh, wow. So that was the problem. Could have been. We'll never know, right? <laughs> What's behind it? Boundaries in the reverse. Yeah with stone yeah this person was hiding who they really were from you guys whoever that person was and then we got spiritual purpose big lessons meant to meet so it's like this person is going to say something to you but right now they're really thinking about how to say it um they've learned their lesson though okay then we got romantic gestures gift affection a kiss supportive Okay, this person does care about you and they're going to take a big risk. And then we got bad habits, repetitive, bad patterns, no change. So with cloudy time, missing you, bad habits. Um, and then we get controlling you or the situation with control issues. And that did come up before. So this person seeing this isn't something that's in their control. They have to work on their bad habits. They need to get out of this, I feel like, depression that they're in and start working on their, their inner selves right now. I feel like they found distractions to keep them from doing what they needed to do. And now that time is up. It's over. So spirit's pushing them with the wheel. It's time to go fast too. It's happening quickly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I love, love, love you. Bye.